Danny Manning. Tell us yeah. how this uh, came about. Well, you know, obviously Danny and I go back right. to players at Kansas in 1985. I was a senior when he was a freshman, and so um, our relationship is has really never gone away. We've stayed in touch through the years, and um, obviously he had a great pro career and then uh, a college coaching career as well. So, you know, when when the job opened up, I actually thought about Danny. I thought, well, I'm, you know, I wonder if he has an interest. Uh, Cause I know, you know, the thing at Louisville happened with, with he and Kenny Payne. Mm -hmm. So I knew he was on the market, so to speak, but I didn't know how much it, so I wanted to give him a little bit of time and uh, went to the final four in Phoenix and I was there with my wife and, and, uh, and about three or four days later, Danny actually called me and said, Hey, have you done anything with your spot? And I said, I haven't, I actually thought about you <laughs> a few <laughs> days ago, but I wanted, I wasn't sure right. if you were interested or where you were at. So i kind of wanted to give us some time and, he said, no, I'd definitely be interested. And he and his wife were in, in Phoenix for the Final Four. So uh, I got together with him. We visited a little bit and just talked about, you know, philosophies and kind of where he was in his career, where I am in my career. And, and he had an interest. And uh, so it was a kind of a, from there, it was a no-brainer. <laughs> <laughs> Not all great players make great coaches for whatever reason. You know yes. that. So what about Danny Manning, the coach, impresses you? Yeah, what, what, what impressed me the most about Danny is, is where, again, where he is in his career. Uh, you're right, not all great players make great coaches, but he's obviously had a great coaching career. He's with Bill Self at Kansas for a long time. Did a great job there. Got his first head job at Tulsa. Was very successful, went on to Wake Forest. And you know, his, his path has taken him to different spots, like all of us in college coaching. <laughs> But uh, what makes Danny Gray is his ability to connect with young people. Right. And he's humble. He's, it's not all about him. He's all about giving back. I asked him point blank, like, Danny, why do you want to coach at this <laughs> stage of your life and career? And uh, he says, I just want to help influence young men and, and pass on the knowledge that I have. And, and I mean, what a great answer, right? <laughs> I mean, he's not doing it for his ego. He's not doing it for the money, he's not doing it for anything other than he wants to help young people. And to me, that's why we all should get into coaching. <laughs> and I think, again, Danny's, uh, his, his humility is, uh, is refreshing. He was that way as a player. Right. I always say, when I played with Danny, he was the greatest player I ever played with. But it's not about his greatness as a player that impressed me. It was his, uh, his ability to be a great teammate. And he was a great player. And not all great players are great teammates either. On that note, you touched on it a little bit, but what did you admire most about Danny, the player? I remember in 88, yeah. him leading that Kansas team to a national championship, and he was he was a dominant force in college yeah. basketball. What do you remember about Danny, the player? Well, what I remember about Danny is he was so unselfish. Mm -hmm. And yeah. obviously he was a freshman when I was a senior. He was still our best player as a freshman. <laughs> he was the most talented guy in the gym every day. But his unselfishness, he played the game the right way. Uh, and again, it wasn't always about him. It was about being a great teammate and, and uh, sharing the ball and, and moving the ball. And, and uh, he just was, he's a, just a down to earth guy that uh, if you meet him, if you get a chance to say hello to him, he's just a normal guy. And, and uh, even though he's six foot 11 and he's <laughs> one of the most talented college basketball players to ever lace him up. You know, in today's world, he'd be a one and done. But back then, he was a four-year player. That's just what they did. And, and obviously, he had a tremendous run as a senior and leading that team to a national championship. And uh, I missed going to the Final Four in 86 when Danny was a sophomore. And I certainly missed the 88 team. Um, but uh, really proud of his career, uh, not only as a player, but even more so as a coach. When I told a couple friends this morning that you hired Danny Manning, the two questions they had was, can he recruit? And he's going to help the bigs. Your answer to that? <laughs> well, can he recruit? Absolutely, he can recruit. Because yeah. again, he can connect with young people. He can connect with families. And uh, uh, you know, the one thing about Danny is, is, is usually you hire guys when you're the head coach, and, and you want them to sell you. We're going to be able to sell Danny, you know, to, <laughs> yeah. to recruits and their families. Right. And I think one of the one of the things I, I want to be sensitive to with Danny. Obviously, he coached the bigs at Kansas for for, for Coach Self. Um, but the fact that he can coach guards as well, he's not just a big man coach, so to speak. He can certainly help our guys with their footwork and, and their post defense and things like that, but I think he can also help our guards 
you know, in pick and roll situations and just thinking the game. Because Danny, he was 6'11", but he was a guy that yeah. could pass the ball and shoot <laughs> the ball and could bring it up the floor. Like, he was a multi-dimensional player. And all of our coaches, I want to be multi-dimensional coaches. And what I mean by that is they can do a scouting report, they can do a workout, uh, they can run a practice. You know, Danny will be one of three former head coaches yeah. on my staff. Uh, which I think is great, and uh, but he's a multi-dimensional coach. He's not just a, a big man coach. Anytime you bring in a new assistant, whether it was Coach Ray prior to this or whomever it is, I guess you hope maybe it gives everyone a shot in the arm or a different look. Yeah, Same absolutely. Yeah, and and bringing a guy like like Coach Manning to the staff, like you know his 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 just his persona, mm -hmm. his uh, his credibility, uh, his name recognition. It, it, it is going to give us a boost, and it's going to give us new sets of ideas, a new voice in our coaching uh, meetings, and uh, that can be good. You know, that can be refreshing. So, uh, obviously, he brings something to the table. I think uh, he's going to fit in great. You know, staff chemistry to me is just as important as team chemistry. I don't think you can have great team chemistry if you don't have great mm -hmm. staff chemistry, and that's something that Danny and I talked about when we got together in Phoenix at the Final Four. He's a guy that can get along and can be put in a lot of different situations and and and, and figure things out. It wasn't lost on me that you guys are going back to the Big Twelve, his old stomping yeah. ground. Yeah, That's exactly. kind of cool. Yeah, well, I was back in the Big Eight. <laughs> That's when, right. When we played, I don't want to date. Right. I don't want to date uh, date ourselves, but uh, but now it is back yeah. to the Big Twelve, and that's where we came from uh, 13 years ago. So uh, it's great to have him on board. One final question, Tad. Uh, moving off, Danny, just for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, you got change in the staff. You obviously had a lot of player change this offseason from graduating, a couple guys going to the portal, whatever. Um, what's your approach to this next season? You go into the Big 12, the best basketball conference in the, in the land. Yeah. You got all this change. It's got to be exciting, maybe a little daunting, maybe a little bit of everything. Well, again, knowing we came from it, mm -hmm. you know, my first year at Colorado, we were in the Big 12. Right. And it was a heck of a league then. It's a heck of a league now. It's even, you know, we got new, a lot of new. Uh, faces in yeah. the league than, than were there 12 or 13 years ago. But uh, I'm excited. I'm mm -hmm. excited about the challenge. I'm excited about the opportunity. Uh, we know that uh, there's not going to be many easy nights, <laughs> if any. We know that the road venues are a lot more difficult in the Big 12 than they were in the Pac-12. But there were great players in the Pac-12. There were great coaches in the Pac-12. There's great players in the Big 12 and great coaches in the Big 12. So really how we approach things doesn't change. You know, we want to uh, get our guys here this summer, uh, work hard, you know, get uh, get bonded, get the new guys bonded with the mm -hmm. with the old guys, and because we get we have some good returning players off last year's team, and uh, now they're a little bit unproven. We got a lot of good talent coming right. in, but I'm I'm as excited as ever about Colorado basketball.